What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior, Avery's the Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, it has come to my attention that there are tons and tons of blades and knives and swords and weapons out there, but a lot of you guys don't know how to tell the difference between them. So, here we are in this video with the top 10 most common or top 10 of the most common uh, types of knives out there. Relax, relax, it's not a switch blade. However, this blade does flick open with the help of a spring. This blade requires your thumb to be, and, or finger, any, any of your uh, digits really, to push the blade open before the mechanism takes over and opens it the rest of the way. A large sheath knife brought to popularity in the 19th century by the American pioneer, Jim Bowie, hence the name. The main feature is the cross guard, the sheath, the sheath, and the clip point. If you don't know what a clip point is, definitely check out one of the older videos, links down in the description. Weighted for spinning during throws and a solid piece with a blunt back end, a blunt handle. Many of these knives comes as a set for multiple projectiles. This is one of the staples for many ninjas in pop culture. So, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this is, but I'm going to include it anyway because I know one of you is going to be in the comments yelling at me for not including one of the most famous blades out there. So, originally, the Swiss Army Knife was designed by the Swiss Army. Who would have thought? This tool has many different appendages that unfold from the main body. This one tool can have a variety of options like bottle openers, screwdrivers, corkscrews, scissors, and the list honestly goes on and on. There's a site out there where you can customize your own uh, Swiss Army knife with whatever tools and whatever uh, options and appendages that you want to add on to it. Most often a fixed blade made for survival scenarios in the wilderness, allowing the user to cut wood for fire, put together shelter, and other various camping activities. Some have hollow handles that hide special equipment like lighters or rope or whatever that may be, but most high quality designs have a full tang, meaning the blade and metal extends through the handle all the way through. So you're holding an entire piece of metal, basically. The clip folder is just like it, like that. The clip folder is just like its name implies. It has a clip and it folds. Specifically, the clip is on the side of the handle so that it can stick to your belt or pocket so that it's easier for a daily carry situation. The difference between these and many assist opening knives is the assist opening knives will have a spring to help you pop that blade out. However, most folding knives are generally classified as folding knives because they are lacking that spring. It's all you're flipping it out with you know your physical power and not the blade the spring doing the work for you the blade spring doing the work for you so the pocket knife also known as the jack knife may include several folding blade attachments similar to the swiss army knife the difference being it's not made in swiss now, honestly that's the main difference here this blade also doesn't include a flicker system or a spring to help you get into the blade, into the blades or the other gadgets. Uh, each gadget will have a little knob that you can use your fingers to pry open, uh, and that is going to be your pocket knife. So this is honestly the least knife-like item on this list, but literally everyone has one, and it has a knife in it, so I'm going to count it. Typically taking the appearance of pliers, I even one ha have one that takes the appearance of a hammer. This is going to be a building tool. When you're working on putting shelves together or something like that, this is what you, you're going to need. Similar to the Swiss Army Knife, it has a bunch of different tools that come out from the main body, but it usually has two like prong legs so that even more tools can come out. You get your screwdrivers, your corkscrews your uh, Allen wrenches, all of that fun stuff can fit into this thing, as well as a saw and an official, an actual knife. 
I know you guys are waiting for it, so let's get into it. The dagger is a double-edged knife with a central spine and full-length sharpened edges. However, unlike what most of you might think, this knife isn't super useful for outdoor use. Unless you see a knife fight in your near future, you might not want to pick this up because its versatility is very low. Now, one of my personal favorites, the long, heavy blade, the machete, used to cut path through vegetation. This is basically the pocket knife of the tropics, where everyone and their mothers got one, and many workers carry them every day just to cut through, you know, the vegetation around. It's not great for detail work, but, whew, does it cut. <laughs> Fun fact, there's also a Brazilian version of fencing with uh machetes so if you want me to cover that art just let me know down in the comments uh, guys all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video this is the second list on my channel i'm kind of just testing it out to see how it'll work see if you guys like it if you do great if not then you know whatever it is what it is i'm just trying to figure it out uh so to help me figure it out definitely let me know down in the comments that you want to see more if you do and if you don't tell me that too so with all that said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel, and hit the bell if you wanna if you wanna see the rest of my posts. Till next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.